What is going on, Muscle and Strength? It is the handsome Raging Silverback here, Chris Hester. We're here at Meyer here in Geneva. Gonna be going in to do some grocery shopping at eight weeks out, show you guys what I'm eating, getting ready for USA's. How you doing, brother? <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, every time uh, Dom sends me uh, updates on the plan, I'll look at it for like 20 minutes straight and just get it memorized. We got some bananas here. Um, this is the only fruit that's on my uh, diet so far. Um, I get 100 grams of banana on my high days, which is basically one whole banana. Spinach. I love my spinach. I mean, I'm a gorilla, so that's all we eat anyway, right? How do you, how do you normally eat it raw? Yeah, just raw, yeah. I get like, so I get a cup. I get a cup basically with each meal. So yeah, I just eat it raw. My two main sources of uh, protein and meats are ground turkey and um, ground, be ground beef, but I, or steak. Um, I prefer the steak, sirloin or flank. We um, we try to stick with those because of the less uh, fat um, on the steak. So go ahead and get, see if we can get, yep, perfect. 99. So um, four meals, no three, three meals of, I eat ground turkey, uh, eight, eight and a half ounces. Uh, my two other meals are either whey isolate or egg whites and then um, one meal of steak meal. You basically eat one per- Per, per meal, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's <laughs> so crazy, weird. bro. Damn, so you go through a lot of that. Every, there. yeah. And it's gotta be the 99. 99, yeah. Okay. Or the uh, 97, 97.3, yeah. All right, so now we are looking for sirloin or flank steak, which is um, my favorite meal of the day, steak. Uh, my high carb days, I get uh, eight ounces of steak with uh, five and a half ounces of rice. On my low day, I get eight ounces of steak with just a cup of veggies. But anytime I get to eat steak, uh, I'm happy. And he keeps uh, he keeps red meat. Um, my coach Don keeps red meat in my diet um, pretty much all the way up until the show. Nope, I think they took it all. They know I was coming. And they put it all up. Oh, wait. wait a minute. I That's think I see. Okay. Sirloin. Sirloin. Yep. How much do you need? Uh, eight ounces. Okay. So this should be should be pretty much yep. Do you, uh, yes. Uh, mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so uh, right now this prep, well currently we are eight weeks out of USA's. Um, man, this prep has it's going by so fast. It's honestly honestly been so smooth, and I'm just enjoying every day of it, every minute of it. Um, just leaving no stone unturned, like each meal, each cardio session, each training session, um, just embracing, just embracing the challenges that I had. Um, still got eight weeks to get better, um, but I'm loving where we're at. I'm loving where we're at. Um, Dom has a good, good plan ahead. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're just having fun, trying to put out a good package, unbeatable package. Um, so, so it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to touch down in Vegas and off these arms all right so now we're coming down to get some oats see a lot of guys like prefer cream of rice i like cream of rice too but every time i make it i just i f it up and it's like all clumpy and yeah, it's, it's just hard. like it's a patience yeah and i don't have the patience so i just i just always stick to the quaker oats you know just put it in the bowl measure it put it in the bowl microwave a minute 20 seconds and you're done, you don't have to like play around with it, so. Do you need any sweetener or anything? Or? No, 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 no. You just eat plain? Just, yep, yeah. mm-hmm. Damn, that is no taste. <laughs> when, I, when I eat my oats, like, I put, I put a lot of water in it, so I just, like, every time I take a scoop, I just chug water. So I, it's like gone in like 30 seconds. I actually have these on my diet, right? Seriously? Yeah, as a uh, 78 grams with uh, almond milk, uh, as my pre-workout meal each day, but I've never had it as a pre-workout meal. I just, I think so. Yeah. And like my body responds so well to like 
the rice and either if I do whey or turkey or fish. So just, just try to be consistent with, with what got me here. All right. So now we're getting the white rice minute. It's really simple, you just boil water. Just let the water boil and then once it's done, um, pour the rice in, let it sit for five minutes, then it's ready to go. Drain it a little bit, then weigh it and ready to eat. You got, uh, so is rice one of your main carb sources? Yes, yes, rice for uh, every, yeah, every meal. Mm -hmm. uh, are you a mustard guy? <laughs> That's all I eat, bro. No spices, <laughs> no herbs. Mustard, yeah, mustard is, is my go-to because Sodium is not too bad, um, which Dom keeps my sodium high because it keeps me full, so he never cuts sodium, but it's just, just a psychological thing for me, you know? So, picking up some egg whites, and all you bodybuilders know that we go about, go through about eight of these a week. Eight? Give or take, because like, yeah, with, you said you have what, eight ounces? 16 ounces. 16, 16 ounces. ounces. Yes, pretty much, yeah, for like twice a week. So what do you say one of the most expensive parts of your prep is the food? Food. Oh, by far the food is the, is the most expensive part. Yeah, we're like, I'm in a grocery store every three to four days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know you ate that much. Yeah. Do you drink it or do you cook it? Um, okay, I'll be honest. If I'm being lazy, I'll drink it. <laughs> but uh, I like to cook it. We're in the danger zone for more. We gotta get out of here quick. All right. What would you eat if you had to pick If I could, do I get to pick three? Sure. Pick three, okay. Yep, this would be one. Okay. Kit Kat, mm-hmm, classic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always and forever. Tw Twizzlers will always have my heart. I, I, oh my God, it's, it's disgusting the amount of Twizzlers and fruit snacks I can eat just, just sitting down like, yeah. well, yep. Well, okay. Yep, number Top two. Shelf, I eat for performance, like whatever it takes to get the job done. Like I'll, if I want to have something tasty, I'll just wait till after the show. Cause uh, I'm just, just focused on winning, oh, yeah. so. I'll have my fruit snacks after the show. The Holy Grail almond butter. You know, the sad thing about this is I only have this on my high days. So I like, I have to really cherish it pre-workout. So you'll see me eat it slow, but no, almond butter is really good. And uh, a lot of people say, what's the difference between uh, almond butter and peanut butter? Well, um, it's, it has more potassium, more magnesium, um, less saturated fat. So yeah, the macros are like way better in terms of um, almond butter versus peanut butter. So um, yeah, I get I get about 28 grams uh, pre-workout. Yeah, Tupperware is like your best friend, especially uh, traveling, doing prep. We eat out of Tupperware or a Ziploc bag, whatever, whatever works. So yeah, got to take. Brought with you in a day. Twelve. I literally had a suitcase full of just food. I'm surprised like TSA didn't go through it and check it. But uh, yep, got the Tupperware. There you go. Nice. All right, you ready to go? Ready to roll. I have this with every meal. Every single meal, I have a Diet Coke. Just a just a flavor. It's so good, and it helps me get, like get in all my meals. So every every single meal, all my bodybuilders know like that's that's a a game changer doing prep. It's a prep pack. Time to secure the bag. That what the young folks say? Secure the bag. So how long will this all last? You? Two days? No. Okay. About a day. <laughs> Life of a bodybuilder, bro. Let's bag my bus.
We just finished up my grocery haul run here at Meyer. Gonna get this cooked up, get our day going. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe below.